Okay, we're doing uh, another review. This one's on the road and we've got a different host. Well, g'day. <laughs> so anybody who wants to know, this is Lloyd, all the new people. You might not have met him before. He's been on the channel on and off a fair few times. You're going to be appearing a bit more. What's your uh, Instagram if anybody wants to follow along the travels of your 76 setup? Lloyd Henriksen underscore H-E-N-R-I-K-S-S-O-N underscore. And this is your Wicked Mall Crawler? Yeah, yep. Do not take it off-road. <laughs> it's not meant to go off-road. Okay, so today we're actually going to be doing the 270, which you upgraded from the 180. Yep. So we'll talk about the bag. Ash, what's the bag made out of? Uh, PVC. So it's just standard PVC. Uses the same bag as the 180. Yeah. Same, exactly the same one, just obviously fits so a bit I'm, better. I'm assuming so, yep. because it fits better. Yep. You know, yeah. There's the more material and it fills out that bag better. Still only two brackets? Still only two brackets. And we'll go the whole way around. Sort of not much more to say about it. We'll get it all opened up and show them what it looks like. Yep. So that's it all set up. 270 wraps the whole way around. It actually took you under five minutes to do. Uh, I was watching on the time lapse. So super quick. It is a, tr is a true freestanding. Yep. Unlike the dashi that hangs down at the front, you have to put the poles down. This one actually is fully self self standing, self standing, self sustaining. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get on to Ash will give you the price and the material of the actual awning itself because you're waiting to watch the Broncos get their ass kicked by the Dolphins and get knocked out of the comp. Is that the rugby? <laughs> watch out, league people don't like it when you call it rugby. Oh my <laughs> Anyway, the price is $1,549 straight from Bushwhacker and the material is a 900 denier polyester canvas which is waterproof and has a UV rating of 50 plus. There you go. So as we spoke about in the last one, it actually does have a waterproof lining underneath which the Dashi didn't so it is a really cool uh, material that they've used. Uh, it's a grey, which as I said, the only reason I didn't go one is because of the grey. I've hardcore's about to bring out a new awning, so we'll see what colours theirs comes out. And I may swap the Dashi out for a hardcore, but let's talk about why did you decide to change from the 180 to the 270? So when we first spoke, when you and I were building building this car, I was going to go the extreme square, remember? And you yep. went, don't do it. And then we went, we spoke about the 180. Yep. And then really from there having the kitchen set up which we'll probably do a video on the yep. on the build of this i'm just waiting for another set of drawers to come in to have the awning wrap around the back and give some protection out the back of the car i think is uh well i don't think we we know it's important plus yep. it's actually it's actually pretty epic the amount of coverage these 270 awnings have yep yeah with now the front section they didn't originally have the front and now most of the companies have added on this front section it's it's phenomenal and it's handy. Lloyd runs the eye camper, so that opens on the other side, which with your shower tent, there's no drama, so you don't have the problem with the back and not being able to get in your rooftop tent. Uh, so we'll talk about, because obviously some people may be watching this and may not have watched the Dashi vs. 1.8 vs. the Bushwhacker 180 review. So you've now got some additional lights, which is really handy, because yep. the 180 didn't have as many. So you've now picked up, what, an additional two, these two? Yeah, the two on the corner. Yep. Which which would be quite good for, you know, when you're using your kitchen and stuff like that. Those lights will really come into their own. Yep. They also um, change colours. Oh, that's like a blue colour. Oh, yeah, so you got like a blue, a white... And an orange. An a yellow and an orange. Yep. Uh, and they're dimmable as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are dimmable, so... So then you normally have this bushwhacker light normally lights up as well. We're not sure if with the 270 there's a different switch, but that's not coming on. So we're not sure yeah, if it's broken or just there's a different switch and we don't know how to do it. So it we'll could look, be us, but we'll yep. look, yeah, into, look into it. Uh, and then poles, how many extra poles does this one give so you? So I think it has two extra poles or at least one extra pole. So yep. right on the corner, so both corners, which probably makes sense and up here, but these poles can actually change out. So if you have a look up here, Dylan, you oh, yeah. can actually move one of the poles to yep. there if you want to. Or add an extra position. one on. Or if add you... an extra pole. Yep. And then plenty of tie down points to secure it uh, on the corners and on the material to get it to run off. 
and we noticed you've got now an additional strap to roll it up as well where you only had two yeah and and goes in the bag super simple but the brackets are phenomenal so on this is something i want to point out these guys on the 180 and the 270 use the truss system yeah where dashi doesn't and this front bracket is well and truly beefed up and phenomenal and again they've even thought about that's like what you call, call that it feels like sort of tire material on the corner so that it doesn't rip and fray i've got to give bushwhacker credit they really have built a really good awning yeah no they've done well and i, I like it I, I like the you know the ethos of the company they're a good fun company you look at their you know what they're putting together it's good fun it's super outdoors um i like the brand will it stand the, the test of time we'll see yep um but i don't use it all the time you know even though i live on the road i'm not using this awning all the time but yeah it's a pretty good one yep so that'll wrap it up from us guys we'll go watch that footy game and enjoy camp you can chuck on a bonfire you got to make the little fella dinner got to make the little fella dinner yes he's off playing yep so we'll wrap this up and we'll see you next time you guys know the drill like comment subscribe we'll keep doing reviews like this we've got a fair bit of stuff on your car to review yeah yeah we've probably got about half a dozen actual reviews yep so till the next one guys see ya